wanted to quickly do a little uh, another edition of the ramblings of a rancher or food for thought. Um, figure I might as well make this quick, seeing as I'm running quick, fast, running out of daylight. Um, but uh, I just wanted to follow up with what I talked about last week, and that is the coming food shortages. Um, I've been keeping an eye on things, as you might well know, uh, as far as at various food suppliers. Uh, we have a local grocery store here that's just owned by a single individual. And then I've also kept track at some of the other chains like Walmarts and whatnot. And I've noticed this disturbing trend, and that is the rural Walmarts. Um, they, they're they running low. Uh, there's items that have been out for now several months. Uh, we just went to our Walmart, which is about 20 miles away uh, in another small town. And it pulls for the entire region, yet that one has been out of just basic things. Um, top ramen. Not that we really eat top ramen, but it has no top ramen. And it hasn't for several months. Uh, but I've noticed the urban, uh, I've when I've gone up uh, into some of the urban centers, I've noticed that uh, they're stocked. Um, there is still some shortages in things, but uh, where we've been out for several months, they've still continued to be in stock. Um, and leave it down in the comments whether or not you've seen that same thing, um, especially where if you're in a rural area, if you've noticed that as well, I'd be curious to see um, if it's the same elsewhere in the country. But even that too, um, a disturbing trend as well, you've probably noticed that A, the lumber, at least where I'm at, um, has come down. In fact, it is just as low, if not slightly lower than it was before before it went up crazy. Um, so for an example, <clears throat> January this year, it was at $5.25 a stud, and then it peaked at about nine seventy-five where I'm at. And now it's back down to three dollars and twenty-three cents uh, a stud, and so that's a good. And uh, plywood sheets are back down to fifteen dollars a sheet, where they peaked at about fifty-five dollars a sheet. Um, and that wasn't just me. That's I went to the, the your chain hardware stores, Lowe's, Home Depot, because um, here you pay a little bit more, um, just because of our our rural location. <clears throat> but these are the the chain stores, so. My point is the, the lumber has come back down, but it's come down even slightly lower than it was before it really shot up. And um, Economics 101 says this supply and demand. Um, that means that the, there is plenty of supply and the demand is not only low, but it is very low. And I thought we would never see lumber prices back to where they were again. You know, I thought, okay, if it, they're at about 325 before the, the supply crunch of the COVID-19 uh, scenario, they'll bring them back down to four. We'll never see those price again. But in fact, we do see those price again. Um, so that's an indicator of that uh, the economy has slowed big time. Building has slowed. People who bought homes have bought homes. People who built have built, um, et cetera. And so, um, but one also the thing that's interesting is so the lumber prices have come down. Other materials, cement has also come down back to where it was. Also to leave that in the comments section below. If you've noticed that same trend where you're at, and uh, you don't have to say um, your street address or anything, but just your hometown or wherever you might be. But one thing I did notice is food prices. I don't know if you notice this, and I'm just talking basic staples. I'm not talking about um, exotic foods or whatnot, but bread, milk, butter, eggs. Um, it's um, where you could buy, you know, I don't know what it is, uh, like the five dozen pack. It's uh, at Walmart or whatnot for six dollars and twenty something cents. Uh, it is now it has gone up about a dollar fifty. It is north of eight dollars, and so um, very curious to me. But um, again, when people are selling off their their chicken flocks, their poultry flocks, and that is because of input costs. Which this is a good plug for me. If you haven't already, um, check out my other video. Um, I'll put a link in the description below or even a little tag up here is it's called the, the the coming the coming storm or the, the perfect storm is coming yeah the perfect storm is coming um and you, that was made back in march of this year but it will still give you great context to see just exactly what's happening and it's the input costs that are driving uh, the cost to produce our meats uh, whether it be uh, beef hog or or poultry uh, the costs are going up so what are people doing they're reducing they're culling uh, they're 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 slaughtering their their herds and their flocks, and so 
um, we are now seeing a shortage. And again, that goes back to that concept of it's not an immediate thing. It takes several months for, for things to catch up. And it also takes just as long, if not longer, to rebuild back to previous levels. So I thought that was very interesting. I noticed that today that uh, the egg prices, like I say, went from just about $6.20 to about $8.50. So that's a huge jump just in eggs. Uh, also, I noticed the milk is, it also went up as well. And everything just across the board, I noticed, I, I keep track of several items. All There was a, there was a slight par price increase, whether it be 25 to 50 cents, um, which when you look at it percentage-wise, that can be a huge percentage increase. So I am running out of light, uh, bear with me. But um, so the, the point of all this is, is if you can be self-sufficient, please do. Um, you know, lumber prices have come down, uh, so go and build you that chicken coop. I know uh, I want to build a brand new chicken coop, but I priced it out. <clears throat> it was going to run about $650 for everything. It was $2,000 I spec'd it out during um, COVID last year, the COVID-19 scenario. So my plan is to rebuild a new chicken coop um, with a large run uh, because lumber prices are, are low. And... Uh, it's uh, it's all about self-sufficiency is the name of the game. And uh, speaking of self-sufficiency, like I said in previous videos and in that Perfect Storm is Coming video, support local. And I don't mean just um, go to your farmer's markets, but uh, find a rancher or someone down the road that uh, raises hogs or sells uh, um, broiler chickens, which is like the meat chickens, and see what you can do because they're the ones being hit the hardest right now. Um, I know people around me are selling their stuff, their their herds. They're reducing by 25, some even upwards of 50%, and that's big. Again, there's going to be a big influx of beef this, this year, but come next year, this time next year, there's going to be huge shortages because, again, a lot of people are selling off their first-year heifers. They're not selling off the old. They're selling off the first year and the old, but also the first year. So, again, that's going to interfere with um, rebuilding herd size and whatnot. Um and so, anyways, it's just one of those things of do what you can. You might pay a little bit more, but I promise you the quality is going to be so much better. If you haven't had um, farm-raised beef or pork or chicken, you're you're definitely missing out because there, it doesn't compare to what you find in the store. A lot of that comes from feedlots where they're you know ankle deep in manure and they're just packed in and fed on corn and just uh, fattened up as quickly as possible. So. Um, you know, but again, you might even be able to get, get a great deal right now because people are so desperate. And if it means that they can maybe work out a deal with you uh, to make a little bit of extra money versus having to sell, um, please do that. So uh, keep that in mind um, when you do that. But um, so that's it. Like I said, I try and keep these videos under 10 minutes. So I appreciate you um, sticking around till the very bitter end and uh, till there is literally no more lights um, here. Um, in the beautiful high desert of the inner mountain west but uh, please again like subscribe share with like-minded people and as always i really appreciate you taking the time to be with me tonight i hope i could be your ticket to help escape the ordinary and uh, tune in next time and thanks for watching uh, here and joining me on the high desert ranch and homestead